All right, my friends. Gosh, I woke up later than I like. The sun is already high in the sky, but I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna knock out my run right now. I think I've got 14 on the schedule today. Okay, and when I come back, we are talking about the Roll Recovery R3. Can you see that? Is the light a little off? The Roll Recovery R3. It is an orthopedic foot roller. Pretty excited to try this out. Okay, let's get out on the run. I'm actually gonna bring a bottle with me today so I can practice holding the bottle. I run most of the time without holding anything. So I'm gonna bring this. Okay, I'm out. You know what, it is, it's 68 degrees out. It is a bit warm just to get started and that only means that it's going to get warmer. So I am not running with a shirt this morning. I'll leave that there. All right. Oh, did I mention that I'm giving away that Roll Recovery R3? Okay, what you have to do is subscribe to this channel and there's gonna be one other thing that you have to do, but I'm gonna let you know at the end of the video. So watch all the way through. All right, let's get on with this run. Right, guys a super toasty run this morning it is now 79 degrees or 26 degrees celsius i ran 14.4 miles or about 23.2 kilometers an average pace of 822 a mile or 512 a kilometer i am super glad i brought this bottle because whew, i lost a lot of sweat i was glad to have that liquid on hand all right don't forget someone is going to win this the Roll Recovery R3. Someone is going to win it. We're going to go inside. I'm going to tell you how to use it. Then I'm going to explain how you can win it. All right, let's uh, let's head on inside. All right, how many of you leave a drink in the fridge so it's super chilled when you get back from a run? You don't have to waste your time putting ice in a cup and then making a drink. It's just right there for you. So cold, so cold. All right, freshly showered. Okay, so it always feels good when you get out of the shower after a run, right? Well, how many of you guys have experienced chafing of any kind, anywhere? Today's run was pretty brutal for the chafing. This body glide really let me down today. So do you guys use anything else? I'm just kind of crowdsourcing here because, um, and you know when you get in that shower after a run and you've got chafing and it just stings? So that, um, obviously it was very warm today. I was soaked, the shorts material was like rubbing my leg and um, I'm not gonna show you, don't worry, I'm not gonna show you. But um, I had to cover it with Aquaphor once I got out of the shower. I guess it feels a little better, but still. So let me know in the comments below. What do you use to prevent chafing? And do you ever still get chafing even though you put on um, this lube? All right, all right, it's time. It's time to show you the R3. All Many of you have had plantar fasciitis it is absolutely miserable and listen we don't know exactly what causes it what we do know is that it accounts for approximately eight percent of running injuries every single year and it is a long lasting injury i had it recently i've been over it now for probably six months but when i had it i had it for about a year and i was sleeping with a boot every single night plantar fasciitis is the inflammation of the plantar fascia which is on the bottom of your foot and it generally presents with a super sharp pain, you know, towards the heel, towards the heel end of your foot. It can really present 
first thing in the morning when you get out of bed and those first couple steps can be it's like stepping on a knife you know it just jabs into your heel so today we're talking about the roll recovery r3 orthopedic foot roller okay and just a couple things about this before i show you how it works you see here you see here how it is it's not symmetrical right we've got a little we've got a little si higher side here so obviously this is for the arch of your foot this is for the medial side of your foot and your foot just slides right in beautifully I've been using this for a little while now and the stability, the stability is what really makes it, makes it worth it. Now before I was using like a tennis ball, I've heard people use lacrosse balls, baseballs, softballs, you know, anything that is round that has a little bit of firmness that you can rub, but your foot's kind of going all over the place. This is actually designed to keep your foot on the plane of motion and you can just roll out your plantar fascia. So let me ask you guys, how many of you have suffered from plantar fasciitis? All right, I bet there is more than a couple of you and I would, dare I say it, I bet it's the majority of you out there that have had some heel pain that is probably plantar fasciitis. And what I wanna know from you is not only have you had it, but if you have had it, how long did it last? And perhaps you're still suffering with it now. I did say, as we started this video, I will be giving one of these away. Stay until the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you how it's done. Oh, it feels really good to just kind of stretch out your toes and then slowly work over the ball of your foot and work down over that plantar fascia, loosening everything up. And I would highly recommend doing this the second you wake up in the morning because that's when your plantar fascia is going to be the most tight. Change feet. Okay, working on the lateral side. That feels really good. You're doing something really good for your feet by doing this. You're keeping that plantar fascia nice and loose. If you do have plantar fasciitis, you do not want to roll directly on where it hurts. Usually, plantar fasciitis, you will feel pain right in here, right where your heel starts. So you don't want to go in and just start working that really hard like this. You want to roll, roll around it to work out everything else. So you can roll your toes, work in the medial side, work in the lateral side, and then maybe lightly on the heel. We can also see right here, there is an area specially designed for the heel to sit in and just kind of work my heel in that. And hey guys, do you have any questions about my socks? Happy Socks is where I get these. I'll put a link in the description below. Happy Socks are where it's at. They're not running socks, they're just, uh, they're just happy socks. All right guys, I know that this R3 is technically an orthopedic foot roller, that's what it says on the box, but there is something else about it that makes it its most valuable trait, and that's the size. Okay, look at this. Here is, here is my backpack and we can just stick it right in the water bottle hole. We can fit it right in there in one of the straps and you can take it with you anywhere. Taking it with me anywhere, that is, that's its most valuable attribute. Because listen, when I'm traveling, I don't wanna bring a big foam roller with me, right? These things take up a lot of space. This does not take up any space and you can use it just like a regular foam roller. And I'm taking this and I'm putting it under my, my calf and I'm just rolling out the cap. It works exactly like a foam roller. Let me do the other side. This bit is like really digging into the muscles and making it feel really good. Doing what foam rolling is supposed to do. That guys, that is the most valuable, the most valuable trait to this thing, the roll recovery, R3. All right, can we see? There we go, now it's focused on that. The roll recovery R3. All right, this thing, this thing can be yours. And I'm gonna tell you how, right now, without getting off the floor, without getting off this yoga mat. Okay, here we go. You know, you have to subscribe to this channel. Two other things, two other things. You also have to follow me on Instagram and write a comment of what you like about foam rolling. I will do a random drawing. I'm just looking at my calendar. Monday, February 3rd will be the drawing for this the Roll Recovery R3. So, just to wrap things up, subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and write in the comment what you like about foam rolling, and I'll do a drawing on the February 3rd video. That's a Monday. Okay, as always, be kind, be happy, run well, and I will see you next time.